Hi, my name is Evelyn. I'm the student support advisor. And in this very short video, I will share with you everything that you need to know about your co-op fees for your upcoming semester. So let's start. In the next few days, you will receive an email from the registrar office uh, asking you to pay for your tuition deposit. As any student in Hamburg, we sent this email to remind everybody to check their accounts. Now, for those of you who are going to your co-op that does not include any academic component, you do not need to pay the $1,000. Your total of your tuition deposit is actually the total of your co-op, which is usually less than $1,000. This is your tuition for your COP plus the health insurance. Um, so the first thing you have to do is go to your My Hamburg and check your account. You will face three different scenarios. A scenario number one is that you do have a, a credit in your account that can be used to pay for your COP. Uh, you will know that you have a credit because in your balance, you will see an amount that has a minus. So in this case, minus 573, this means this student has a little bit more than $500 to pay for their co-op. The second scenario you can be facing is that you have a positive amount in your balance, meaning that you owe this money. Uh, this can, we will talk a little bit later why you are owing money. I know that in some cases, some of you think that you pay for the whole program, but we will check that in a minute. And the third scenario that you can be facing after opening your account is that you have zero in your balance, meaning that all the money that you have in your account has been used for your first and second semester. So for those of you who have paid for the full uh, program back home, I just want to give you a friendly reminder that the pro forma invoice, which was sent alongside your letter of acceptance, is a guide only and subject to change. This is written on the first sentence of your pro forma, meaning that all these amounts can vary. So if this student, for example, paid $17,983, this is just a guide. So that's why it's so important for our students to check their accounts every semester to make sure there was no changes in their account. So if you do have a balance or you have zero in your account, that means that there was some adjustments in your previous semesters and there's a balance that you have to pay in order for you to register. Again, you do not need to pay $1,000 for your tuition deposit. You have to pay the total of your co-op, which is usually $440, plus the dental and prescription insurance that is given by Ignite. And you have to check with more care if your health insurance is still valid. For those of you who have to make a payment, remember there's three methods of payment. You can pay with a credit card in your My Hamburg. Just keep in mind that will add a 2.5% extra to the total. That is the fastest way for you to make a payment. Number two, through the Canadian bank account, meaning you go to your bank and you ask the teller to make the transaction on your behalf, or you can uh, just add Hamburg as your pay and you can make an online payment. Remember, this takes three to five business days for us to receive the transaction. So just plan accordingly. And finally, you can use Flywire if your family is paying from abroad. This one will take even longer for us to receive the money. I suggest you to check our academic calendar so you can see the date that you have to complete your tuition payment. Again, the tuition deposit and the tuition payment will be exactly the same for you. You do not need to pay two separate amounts. You just need to pay one amount that is usually less than $1,000. If you have any more questions, please use the ask the question in your portal so you can uh, book an appointment with me or you can just you ask your questions so I can check your records in your account. Thank you for attending to this very short video. I hope it helped you to understand better your fees. Thank you.